So, as it turns out, I'm doing one more video today, and it's not a superhero video, so I got my quota for today, and you're Domino, and Domino was being a little fussy in the last video, but you seem to be calm down, but yeah, well, not really. Did you get your meds today? We gotta give her meds, she's very hyper to point, we need to kind of calm her down a bit. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, was it yesterday, or was it was a couple, it was a day or two ago that they announced that... The Harley Quinn spinoff movie that they announced is going to turn into a Gotham Sirens movie, which is going to feature Poison Ivy, the the cat, a version of Catwoman, you know, uh, the the femme fatales, if you will, of the DC universe and the villains, uh, of Rogue Gallery, at least for Batman. And I have two thoughts on that, and I agree with, a bit with John Campia from uh, Collider on this, is that. They, Warner Brothers keeps changing up their slate, bumping things back, when they already reveal the plan they made. And it's putting a lot of distrust I have in... Well, not a lot, but it's giving me a little less faith in DC. Because I'm one of the people who de really does enjoy uh, BVS and Suicide Squad, despite understanding and recognizing the problems with those films. Um, but those buddies, those movies did well. So they're, they're, they're making money... Enough to keep on going on with the uh, DC universe. Wonder Woman looks pretty good. Justice League, at least from the bit we saw, looks entertaining. So it's not like they don't have a plan that's working to some degree. It's just not clicking on all levels. They just need to correct, correct, course correct the ship a little bit. But what they're doing is that they're not just course correcting the ship. They're plotting a completely new route to a completely new destination. Um, so I don't know what they're doing. They, they don't have, seem to have any... So they're very reactionary is the thing. And I'm not as vividly angry about it as some other people are. Again, watch uh, John uh, John Campia on Clyder's uh, movie talk. I think it was yesterday. Um, or the day before. One of the two. <laughs> yeah, he got angry. Um, I'm not that angry. But I am disappointing them in that. Now, on the second <clears throat> notion... Would I be interested even in a Gotham Sirens movie? <clears throat> I was somewhat interested in it when it was a Harley Quinn movie because it would have been a lot of Harley Quinn, the Joker, and probably some Bat, definitely some Batman, and uh, you probably would have had maybe some Poison Ivy because she's got a history of Poison Ivy. Instead, now you've got this Gotham Sirens movie, which, yeah, granted, I would like to see other characters in this DC universe like Poison Ivy, like Catwoman, what they would be like, especially since we have an older Batman, we probably have older versions of these characters to some degree, at least maybe with Catwoman. But it's I, – I don't know. I would have preferred uh, – honestly, I probably would have preferred a Birds of Prey as, as opposed to Gotham. So I don't know. It just, it just doesn't I'm – not, I'm not disappointed with it. It's not like my bottom pick. It's not my top pick. It's it lies somewhere like in the middle. With that said, though, um, I mean we know Margot Robbie would come back to play Harley Quinn. Who, they haven't been really talking about anyone who's been circling for Catwoman yet. But, apparently a name going around right now for Poison Ivy would be Megan Fox. And they say that for a number of reasons. One, she's been in comic book movies before. She's, um, <clears throat> uh, she's, she's got the look. Uh, she's been apparently ordering certain specific Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy comics. So, and I, there was another thing, too, that I re literally just watched a brief article on. So, there's no confirmation. It's just a name that's being thrown out, out there. Um, and... And when you think about it, Poison Ivy is a character who, because of her physiology, because she's part plant, wouldn't age like a normal person. She'd probably age a lot slower if she aged at all. So she could st she could have been around for as long as Batman has and still look pretty much like a 20-something-year-old. Megan Fox definitely has the look for it. I can definitely see her with green, pale green skin, like like an Arkham, uh, Arkham City or, or Arkham Asylum style Poison Ivy. I could definitely see that. Uh... But my issue is, it's Megan Fox. I don't hate Megan Fox, but she is not the strongest actress in the world. When she's bad, she sucks. When she's mailing it in, she's pretty boring. At most of the movies I actually enjoyed her in would be something like... Um, uh, Jennifer's body, She, but she was really playing off that um, role. She was really playing off that character type. Uh, <laughs> what else have I enjoyed her in? Because I've seen her in a lot of movies, but what else have I enjoyed her in? Um, she was passable in the first Ninja Turtles movie. 
she wasn't that good in Jonah Hex, but no one really. Even Josh Brolin, God bless him, he was doing his best. And freaking uh, Malkovich was just terrible in that movie. So, yeah, um, I, I, I don't know what to say. Now, this is just a name that's circling. It's not like they're going to actually choose her as Poison. Uh, if, if, I would be a, if I were to guess, no, I don't think so. But th there are there is some evidence to point towards that she might be poison ivy. And if she is, yes, I like Gal Gadot. I will give her a shot. But I don't have high hopes. Just throw it out there. Not not high hopes. I will go in there with a low bar. I'll be like, oh, okay, Harley Quinn's going to be awesome at least. Uh, who else are we get in there? Catwoman is she still around? Well, all right. Uh, um, I hope. So I've heard a lot of people say maybe like Kate Beckinsale would be a good idea for an older Catwoman. I could dig on a Kate Beckinsale. Hell, Michelle Pfeiffer's in her fifties, but I would I would say bring Michelle Pfeiffer back. Why not? <laughs> no, I would. She she's a little past the uh, point where you can do Catwoman um, with her. I know. Bring Halle Berry back. That could work. <laughs> no one. Um, but no, I mean I I could see. Yeah, I could definitely see a, a Kate Beckinsale. Um, Especially when you look at her Celine, you know, add some cat ears or like some sort of cat mask or something like that. I could see that. Um, Emily Blunt. No, I, I, I love Emily Blunt. I think she's great in a lot of her work. Loved her in uh, Edges of Mara. Loved her in Girl with the Train. But Emily Blunt doesn't fit that role. Yeah, right now I'm just speculating who I might be able to see as uh, Poison Ivy. Scarlett Johansson as Poison Ivy. Yeah, honestly, I could. I think I even made a suggestion for that when I uh, did my. Marvel DC flip flop video, like if they switched their respective companies, who would they play? And yeah, I can see Scarlett Johansson's uh, Poison Ivy. She's a very solid actress, and she's gorgeous. She's got the part, so or she looks the part. So yeah, I could see that. If I if he said po Scarlett Johansson's Poison Ivy n d cast tomorrow, I would not be surprised. I'd be like all for it. Um, of course, I can also see Scarlett Johansson a bit as Catwoman too. So hmm. But, um, because, again, Black Widow definitely helps that. But uh, that, that's my thoughts. I could go speculating and speculating, but I'm not going to. Um, thanks for watching, though. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put it in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. Rogue will be tonight. Box office will be on Sunday. If I have anything else worth talking about, I'll talk about it in between then. Um, a Despicable Me 3 trailer dropped. Um, I watched it. It looks cute. Um, I know Gru's married to, uh, the, the, the I think it's Lucy? Uh, that's her name. I didn't see Despicable Me too, unfortunately. Um, and I've only watched most of Despicable Me one, and I didn't see the Minions. So I've watched half these movie series, almost half. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Um, are, are not the oh yeah ideas for who would wins, what else? You can put those in the comments below. I'll get to them at some point. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you folks.